Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to go through the initial configuration of Samsung Galaxy A16 5G. So once you turn on the device, you will have the start button over here in the middle, this blue one, so let's press it in order to proceed. Now over here we need to choose the language that we want to use for this device, so let's actually use English. In my case I'm going to use English, United States, and let's proceed. Let's press next. There we go. Now we have privacy policy where we need to select at least the um, option that we agree to end user license agreement. The other two are optional and one of which is agree to all so it doesn't matter. Let's press next. Now if you have any other device then you can simply uh, select which device you have in order to set up by using the old device. So you will sign in automatically and copy settings accounts and more from another phone or tablet. Uh, you will need to keep your other phone or tablet nearby and the other tablet should be or phone should be unlocked. Uh, however, in this case I'm not gonna do that. Let's pretend that this is our first smartphone and, it, and we don't want to copy anything. So let's set up manually. Now we need to choose a Wi-Fi network. Of course, if we want to, you can just skip this process and we can turn off Wi-Fi. We can also scan uh, the Wi-Fi QR code by using the QR code icon over here and simply find your Wi-Fi if you want to connect, find your Wi-Fi connection and then enter the password and then press connect. All right, so let's connect. Let's wait a couple of seconds. There we go. Now, once we are connected, we can press next. Let's see what's next. We have service provider setup. So our phone needs to restart to set up features and services from our service provider. This might be uh, not the case for everyone. If you see this information, then of course we need to press restart. So let's do this and let's wait for the device to restart. After that, we, may be, we might be able to find the option to connect to mobile network. So if you have inserted the SIM card, then of course you can make sure that this option is turned on. Of course, if you want to, you can turn off mobile data by simply tapping on this switcher and then let's press next. There we go. Now we need to wait a couple of seconds until we see another menu. Then we, we might be offered to copy apps and data from our other device so we can easily transfer everything like apps, photos, contacts, our Google account and much more. And if you want to do that, then of course, press next. In my case, I'm not going to do that. So you can also press don't copy in order to skip this process and proceed with further options. Then you might need to sign in to your Google account. Of course, this is once again optional. If you don't have Google account, you can press create account, which is located over here. And you need to tap on the email or phone field in order to start entering your credentials. And like I said, you can also skip this process by pressing skip. So I'm gonna actually sign in by using my example Google account. So let's tap here and then enter your details. Once you enter the email, you can tap outside in order to hide the keyboard and then you can press next. Of course, you will need to enter your password. So do that and then press next. After that, we need to select who will be using this device. If the device will be used by yourself, then of course you can choose I will be using this device. If you want to set up this device for your child, then of course you can choose my child will be using this device. In my case, of course, I will be using this device, so I just want to proceed. So press next. Then we have Google Terms of Service, so we need to press I agree. Then we might see this information that we are getting the Google account information. So let's wait a couple of seconds one more time until it is done. You might also see Google services. After that, we need to press got it. And over here we can choose what we want to agree to. So of course we have ba uh, basic device backup. If you want to have backup uh, made automatically, then of course you can make sure that this option is enabled. If you don't want something, then you can simply tap on the switcher in order to turn the option off. We have location, allow scanning. I can recommend disabling scanning for now. The location is also optional, of course. And this can also be turned off. So let's do that. Then we have sent usage and diagnostic data, install apps uh, and updates. So we can proceed with next, uh, sorry, with accept. So scroll all the way down and go to accept. Then we need to choose our search engine. So if you press next, you will see a bunch of different search engines. If you have your favorite one, then of course you can select it. But if you don't know which one to choose, 
the most popular choice is of course Google, so you want to tap on Google in order to be able to use it by default. And then press set as default. Then we can immediately set up the face recognition, fingerprint and pin password or pattern for our screen lock. So if you want to do that, you can do that immediately right here. If not, of course, you can set, set this up later and you can simply skip this process. So choose one of these options and proceed with the instructions. In my case, I'm going to skip and then skip anyway. There we go. Now we have the Hey Google Assistant. If you scroll all the way down, you have two options. You can agree to set up the voice assistant so that you can speak out loud to initiate the Google Assistant by saying, hey, Google. If you don't want to do that, then of course you can press skip. And this is what I'm going to do. Then we have access your assistant without unlocking your device. You can also agree to that or skip it as you wish. In my case, I'm going to skip that as well. Now let's wait for our device to once again get ready. So once again, wait just a couple of seconds, then you might need to sign in to the Samsung account. However, this is optional. You don't really have to do that. If you have Samsung account, then of course you can uh, sign in. You can sign in by using your Google account as well, which is quite convenient. You can use your email or phone number, or you can sign in with the QR code. You can also press forgot password or don't have an account if you want to skip this process. So if you do that, then over here we have set up later in settings. So this is how we can skip the uh, login process for the Samsung account. And then over here we have what we will miss if we don't use the Samsung account. So of course you can read that. And once again, we can skip. Then we have Samsung service legal, legal information. Uh, you need to select the terms and conditions. The rest is optional. So then we can press agree. And then we have customization service. Uh, which can be enabled and disabled. It's up to personal preference. Let's press agree after that. Then we can choose whether we want to use light or dark mode. I'm going to stick with light. And once again, we need to wait a couple of seconds for the device to load up next thing. Here we go. We are all set up. So if you press finish, now you should see the home screen in just a few seconds. And there we go. Now you can start using your device as you wish. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.